Welcome to this video about last week's, or the way before that, Nintendo Direct. It took Nintendo 40 minutes to show us everything they've got. And I'm gonna try to do that in 10 minutes. Are you ready? Let's go! First off, Nintendo showed us a new DLC of Monster Hunter Rise called Sunbreak. It's a massive expansion that contains more storylines, locals, monsters and new hunting actions in quest rank. It's scheduled to release as paid DLC in summer of 2022. Then we are heading into the headlines with first Mario Party Superstar. Nothing new here since it was already announced at E3 in June this year. Mario Party is set to release on October 29th. After Mario Party, a new RPG card game was announced named Voice of Cards The Isle Dragon Wars. It's basically just a new tabletop card game, but now on consoles. This game is available on October 28th. Then, Disco Elysium, the final cut. In this game, you wake up in a hotel and have lost your memory. You figure out that you're a detective and need to solve a murder. It's a role-playing game. I guess comparable to Dungeons of Dragons and Baldur's Gate. This one looks pretty chill. It will digitally release on October 12th. The physical game will release early 2022. More storylines and characters for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity are announced. Nothing new here. This second DLC part will release October 29th. Next up, Chocobo GP. Honestly, a total ripoff of Mario Kart but now with Final Fantasy characters. It even looks the same. It will release in 2022. For those interested, the last Super Smash Ultimate Fighter will be announced on October 5th. Oh, wait, this video comes online on October 6th, so you might already know who it will be. While making this video one week earlier, I have no clue yet. So, just so you know. Okay, stop the timer for just a bit. We aren't even halfway and I don't know how long it takes already this video, but I hope I will make it. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, a like on this video. And if you're there, if you haven't done it already, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of my future content. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesday evening. Link is in the description down below, so make sure you check that out as well. Okay, are we ready to go on with the announcements? Let's go. A new Kirby is announced. Finally, a new Kirby! Kirby wakes up on a new land and starts exploring there. That's why the game is called Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. This game is scheduled to release Spring 2022. Then, an Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct is announced for October. There will be new free content available in November 2022. Keep an eye out for the exact date of that Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct. Moving on, Mario Golf Super Rush gets more characters to play with, two new courses are also announced. This free update is already live, so if you haven't updated it yet, do it. Disney Magical World 2 Enchanted Edition. Live together with a lot of Disney characters and just have some fun. This game is scheduled to release this holiday. Next, Star Wars is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. The old game Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic will arrive digitally on November 11th. Dying Light 2 Stay Human Cloud Version is announced. A game where you have to master parkour and technical combat to survive in this open world game. Play alone or with 3 others in co-op. This game is set to release on February 4th, 2022. Next to that, Dying Light Platinum Edition is also announced. In both games, you need to fight the undead. This game is set to release October 19th. Triangle Strategy is a new 2D HD game. In this game, the decisions you make determine the storyline. The demo was already released in February and this game has been fine-tuned, such as camera rotation, adjusting the difficulty and reread your previous dialogues. This game is set to release on March 4th, 2022. Then, Metroid Dread, the 2D Metroid game that was announced at the E3. It has a new trailer. For the rest, no really new info. This game is set to release October 8th. Now, my favorite news of the Nintendo Direct. 
There will be a new membership plan where you have to pay more than you do for the current plans. Well, that's not what I like about it, but that's coming up. But you will be able to play Nintendo 64 games such as Zelda Ocarina of Time, Mario 64 and Mario Kart 64. Not many games are announced just yet, but more will follow such as Zelda Majora's Mask, Benji kazooie and Pokemon Snap. This new plan also includes Sega Genesis games such as Sonic, Castlevania Bloodlines and many more. This new plan will include everything the old games have, but with extra the N64 and Sega games. There will also be N64 and Sega Genesis wireless controllers available to play with it the retro way. The new plan will release in late October. Cyberpunk meets fantasy in the Shadowrun trilogy. Three cult classic RPGs where you play as a mercenary and has a skill based character growth. These games will release in 2022. In Castlevania Advanced Collection there are four retro Castlevania games. These games now have a rewind and quick save option. All regional games are included, together with some fancy artwork. This game is already released in the Nintendo eShop, so check it out. A HD remastered version of the NES game Act Razor Renaissance is coming to Nintendo Switch. Fight the Lord of Dark, Master Swordmanship and Magic to Fight Monsters. This game is also available in the Nintendo eShop now. Then some quick updates. Delta Room Chapter 2, a somewhat weird retro looking game where you fight monsters and play minigames is a free update to Delta Room Chapter 1, available in the Nintendo eShop now. Also available now is Hot Wheels Unleashed, a fun race game where you can also adjust tracks. Surviving the Aftermath is a building and surviving game, available in the holidays of this year. Shin Megami Tensei 5, a RPG game. Pre-orders are open now. Wreckfest, a race and bump game, available fall 2021. Arcade Archives Pac-Man and Arcade Archives Xevious. Two retro games are also available in the eShop right now. Rune Factory 5, a fast RPG game, will release March 22nd, 2022. After those quick games, some news I didn't see coming. A full-length animated Mario movie will be released in theaters holiday 2022 with key cast members. Chris Pratt as Mario, you might know him from Guardians of the Galaxy or Jurassic World movies. Anja Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach, she's most known as Beth Harmon of the Queen's Gambit series. Charlie Day as Luigi, most known as the voice of Benny in the Lego movies. Jack Black as Bowser, famous for a lot of things the latest Jumanji movies or the movie School of Rock for example. Keegan-Michael Key as Toad, just mm, not so familiar to be honest, just has done a lot of voice work. Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong, known for his many comedy movies. And last but not least, Charles Martinet himself, the voice of Mario and other characters in the games. Some people are excited, others hate it. Nevertheless, this movie will be made in cooperation with Illumination, who are known for the Despicable Me movies. For myself, I want to see how this movie will turn out. If this will be a good movie, who knows? Maybe there will be a Zelda movie at some point. Next up, the game a lot of people are waiting for, Splatoon 3. This game takes place in Splatsville. The game itself will pretty much be the same. New weapons will be available. The story mode is about the return of the Mammalians. What could this mean? This game is scheduled to release in 2022. Then another great game. It's a Nintendo Switch exclusive. I'm talking about Bayonetta 3. In this game, just like part 1 and 2, you fight monsters and you have special powers. This game is scheduled to release somewhere in 2022. And stop the timer! Whew. Well, those were all the announcements Nintendo made in those... Well, in that Nintendo Direct. Did I make it in 10 minutes? I hope so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you in my next video. See ya!